I used to roll my eyes at those headlines, eat this one fruit to melt belly fat, or drink this tea and watch the pounds vanish, they sounded too good to be true, and honestly, they were. For a long time, I believed fat-burning foods were just marketing tricks. But, as I dug deeper, something surprised me. Behind all that hype, there actually are foods backed by real science. Foods that don't work like magic, but work with your body to make fat loss easier, more natural. The first shift happened when I swapped my sugary drinks for green tea. At first, it was just an experiment, but then I learned about EGCG, an antioxidant in green tea that helps the body use fat as energy. Science says it slightly boosts metabolism. My body said it felt lighter. I didn't crash mid-morning anymore. I just felt steady. Then came chili peppers. I remember the first time I sprinkled a little extra heat on my eggs, not knowing that capsaicin, the compound that makes chilies burn, also raises your metabolism. That little heat wasn't just on my tongue, it was in my system, nudging my body to burn more calories. It wasn't dramatic, but it was real. And coffee. Oh, coffee. My morning ritual. I used to feel guilty about it, but caffeine actually helps increase energy expenditure and boosts workout performance. A black cup before my morning walk felt like flipping a mental switch. Let's move. No syrups, no creamers, just pure focus. But the real game changer was protein. Eggs, chicken, Greek yogurt, simple foods that changed everything. Protein takes more energy to digest and keeps you full longer, meaning fewer cravings and better energy. Once I started building every meal around it, I noticed I wasn't snacking out of boredom anymore. My body felt nourished, not deprived. Carbs used to be my enemy, until I learned that whole grains like oats and quinoa keep blood sugar stable and prevent energy crashes. I stopped fearing carbs and started respecting them. My workouts got stronger, my mind clearer. And then there were healthy fats, the ones everyone told me to avoid. But foods like avocado, nuts, and olive oil did the opposite of what I feared. They didn't make me gain, they helped me stop overeating, because when you feel satisfied, you don't chase junk food. That's when it clicked. Fat loss isn't about a single superfood or some extreme diet, it's about balance. It's about understanding how small, consistent choices build a foundation your body can thrive on. When you feed your body right, it begins to trust you, it lets go of what it doesn't need. My meals became colorful, my energy consistent, and my cravings manageable. I didn't chase quick fixes anymore, I built habits I could live with, and that's where real fat loss begins, not in deprivation, but in alignment. So if you're starting your own journey, don't look for magic, look for momentum, swap one soda for green tea, add a handful of protein, sprinkle some chili flakes on dinner, tiny choices, repeated daily, create extraordinary change.